Hello, my name is Joe, I'm German and I live here in Cape Town in South Africa. You can imagine it's fine and very nice to live here in Cape Town, but today we do not talk about lifestyle in Cape Town. We will talk about this nice Kawasaki Z1 Super 4. This bike has been built in 1974. Before I will show you some more details about this bike, I would like to take you, let's say, to a journey. And this journey starts at the motorbike industry in the late 60s. As most of you know, this Kawasaki Z1 has been presented to the public in late 72. In 1973, production started and deliveries started too. The effect of the presentation of this bike to the motorbike industry, I would call disruption. Why I, I am doing this statement? Let's start the journey in 1969, where Honda showed up with the all new Honda CB750. At that time, this bike was the best of all. Four cylinder, one overhead camshaft, one disc brake, 67 horsepower, breeze taking design and good driving dynamics. Last but not least, a reasonable price. This was a shake up, a wake up for all the competitors. Late 60s, early 70s, all the competitors started to develop their new superbikes to catch up to the Honda CB750 or perhaps overtake the Honda. Suzuki has been the first who showed up with a new superbike. It was the 750 GT, three cylinder, two stroke, and the same horsepower as Honda, 67 horsepower. Then in 74, BMW has upgraded their two cylinder boxer engine uh, to 900 cc and launched the R90S with 67 horsepower too. Norton was really disappointing in 1974, showed up with the new Norton Commando, 850 cc, but only 51 horsepower. You cannot compete against the competition with this performance. Last but not least, Yamaha showed up with their new bike in 1975. It was a two-cylinder 650cc with 50 horsepower. Again, not enough to compete with Honda, Suzuki or BMW. The Italian motorbike industry needed even longer to show up with their new superbikes. Ducati in 1975 with the 900SS, beautiful bike, classic bike today, but only 68 horsepower. Moto Guzzi with the Le Mans 850cc with 71 horsepower, six years after Honda has launched their superbike. And you can imagine what happened in all the development departments of the entire motorbike industry when Kawasaki in late 72 showed this bike. This bike comes with 900cc, 82 horsepower, double overhead camshaft, one disc brake, breeze taking design, very good driving dynamics and a reasonable price. The entire motorbike industry understood immediately that all the projects that are running in their development will never ever be the performance of this bike. This is more or less the reason why this bike in the early 70s was so successful. In 1974, this is the year when I was 16 years old, I've seen the first time uh, the Kawasaki Z1. You have to take into consideration that at that time I was dreaming about a moped, 
uh, we call we call this small uh, motorbikes in Germany. It's 50 cc with 6.25 horsepower, maximum speed 80 kilometers. This for me at that time was an entry ticket for freedom. And then I stood in front of the Kawasaki Z1. I can describe you each and every second when I had the walk around uh, of this bike. The German motorcycle press stated out that a new legend has been born. They described the driving performance of this Kawasaki like a ride with the daughter of Mr. Frankenstein. Two years later, I was able to buy and to sit on a Yamaha RD 250, 32 horsepower for that time, pretty, pretty fast, 150 kilometers in good days, in bad days only 130 kilometers. But after one year, this chapter was closed too, because I visited university and I needed a car. Finally, it needed 21 years till I was able to buy this uh, Kawasaki Z1. This was in the mid 90s. No internet, no transparency. Bikes have been offered by newspaper ads. And even sometimes you have to write a letter to the seller and apply for some more information because uh, he did not uh, show up with his telephone number. So did I. And uh, fortunately, a Kawasaki dealer replied to the ad and to my request. And uh, this Kawasaki dealer sold his uh, workshop in the late 70s. And this Kawasaki was not able, he was not able to sell it for a reasonable price. So he decided to store it in his basement. And in this basement, this Kawasaki has been stored for 16 years. When I've seen the bike for the first time, it was covered under under old blanket, a lot of dust. The tank was dry, the, the brake fluid uh, disappeared, tires were flat, always dirty, and I was not able to do a test drive. I only was able to turn the Kickstarter to look if the engine is turning. This guy was reliable, so I decided to sign the purchase contract. It was the best what could happen to me. After washing the bike for the first time after 16 years, a real gem showed up. The bike had only 18,000 km and under the dust the chrome was still very shiny. Fortunately, the bike was in original condition. Everything was in place, 100% original and in best condition. New oil, new plugs, a new air filter, adjust the valves and a new battery that was was needed to get the engine running. New tires, new brake pads, new brake fluid and the chain changed the oil of the shocks that was needed too to get the bike ready for the first ride. Now the engine is 47 year old and has never been opened or redone and delivers still a lot of horsepower to feel the predominance which she had 50 years ago. I bought the bike in 1994 and it was uh, my only bike at that time. You can imagine with 80 horsepower I traveled all around uh, Europe and visited a lot of Kawasaki set gatherings. And all the experts who have been there at this gathering checked my bike and found out that it's more or less nearly in 100% original condition. I personally was really surprised and as a result, I've got a lot of trophies. Always when I visited a gathering, I was there with the only one 100% original Kawasaki. Finally, after years, this bike ended as a vintage bike in my garage, covered, and several times in the year, I pushed the Kickstarter to keep the engine running at the end of the day. I was not driving the bike anymore. Yeah, looking back to the year 2018. The bike was still sitting in the garage. I was not using it anymore. I was not driving the bike anymore. Why? Poor brakes, uh, the handling was not as good. The seating position was not so perfect. So I was even thinking of selling the bike. But then I had a flash of genius. 
why not to combine this amazing vintage bike with some modern upgrades. I call it Wintech style. And this was the start of this Kawasaki Z1 Wintech style project. But this will be part of my second video. Stay tuned.